Lord Fetter has announced that all three of his daughters will be entering into society this season. He expects all three married off this season to include Lady Doris. back to the stream welcome to doris's story the shrekiverse prequel so if you didn't already know i'm gonna tell you right now doris comes from a rich family we know we've talked about this a little bit in the past um we've never really gone into great detail of it but we know that doris um you know her father was a lord she comes from a rich family she had two sisters um and she was always known as the ugly sister so her two sisters are always getting called prettier than her. There's rumors about her that her mother cheated on her father or something and her mother slept with a troll and that's what made Doris. Um, and then now in tonight's live, her and her sisters are going to be coming into society, which for rich people back in these times, which don't try to mark this to a time period because the clothes are all over the place. So it's a made up time period. But her and her sisters are going to be coming into society, which means they're going to be starting to go to parties and whatnot to hopefully get courted because her father wants all three of them married off this uh, courting season. So that is where we're starting with Doris's backstory. Um, so she lives in this estate. So with her father having an estate, that means like peasants have to send him money and things like that and you know, Lord stuff. We will be having a ball. There's a bunch of crazy venues, taverns, churches, public baths. Um, we'll be seeing a lot of nobility for sure in this live. Doris is the diamond of the season, but is it historically accurate? <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin, for following. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Pips McKee. Yeah, that's why I'm just warning y'all right now. This is not based on history. However, the girl who originally made the original save file, um, I think she did base some of these families off of either Sims lore and a little bit of actual history. Um, there's definitely some Russian themes in here, I've noticed. Um, it's not Greek, we're fine. Um, it looks like we're starting at 10 a.m. Because um, I also just loaded back into the game. So this is Doris's family's estate, very beautiful um, house that she came from. And y'all, are you ready to see? Well, let me put her in her everyday wear. Hold on, hold on. Change your outfit, cause we're, we gotta come in strong today. Dresser, change outfit, everyday wear. Um, do, do, do. This is young Doris. <laughs> Doris. This is her father coming outside talking to her right now. Um, I'm gonna put him in his regular clothes too. I mean, it is six o'clock in the morning, so I understand. Uh, she's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, her father is Lord Fetter Navington. Um, and you will see that in this save file, every single person, pretty much their social class is at the front of their name. Um, so you'll know if someone's a peasant, like for example, this guy in our house, he's a gardener. Um, this is our chef. So our gardener and our chef, AKA the servants in the household, um, are married and live with us. Um, I'm gonna change all of them kind of like their everyday wear. So they do have this married couple that works for them. This is the inside of the house and Doris's mother, Looks like she just woke up as well. Um, she is quite beautiful and Doris's two sisters look a lot like her. This is her sister, Blair. Blair is the oldest out of the three of them. Um, 
Blair is the one that kind of like, like if you look at Blair and her mother's relationship, they have a strict relationship. Um, when Sims have a strict family dynamic, the younger Sim in the relationship respects the authority of the older Sim. The younger Sim often meets the high expectations set for them, though they often feel stressed about the older Sim. Um, when socializing, the older Sim will often demand more of the younger Sim, and the younger Sim will usually play it safe with small talk. Um, Blair is snobby, she's proper, but she does get jealous. Um, and I'm not sure if that means of her sisters, of other women, she because no, none of the girls have dated anybody at this point in their life. They haven't come out into society yet. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Yo. Thank you, Morgan, Dazzy, um, Destiny. Um, and then her other sister. Oh, there she goes right there. That is Courtney. Courtney also looks um very much so like her mom and they're both thinking about her mom and then courtney let's see her um traits with her mom Do -do -do. um courtney is romantic she's a little self-absorbed but she is proper um her relationship with her mother is permissive um so sims with a permissive family dynamic tend to let things slide with the younger sim when they get in a bit of trouble the older sim will often shower the younger sim in affection and compliments while the younger sim will tend to be more demanding they're more likely to form adoring sentiments towards each other thank you illy thank you lauren thank you amber yo um so there's definitely a difference between the two sisters and with um their mother and her their mother's name is lady isabella which i guess it should be madam to be honest but and then with doris she has nothing she feels nothing towards doris at all and you know especially with those like rumors and everything that her mother like woohoo to troll um because you can see like doris doesn't look like them doris doesn't look like them and it's kind of it's kind of you know hard on her thank you tess what are doris's traits doris's traits are different now than they are in the shrekiverse her traits right now are um proper self-assured and outgoing she is part of the gentry class sims of a higher income household are considered part of the gentry gentry or gentry i feel like both ways i'm trying to pronounce it come out the same with my accent but whatever um and then she's illegitimate so because she has questionable parentage, she's illegitimate, um, which means everybody thinks and accuses her of being, like not having both of the same parents. Um, Doris is the youngest sister or the middle sister? Um, Doris is the youngest. And then, but they're all pretty close in age. So Doris is 18 and then Courtney is 19 and then Blair is 20. So, and they're kind of coming out into society a little later than some of the other girls, but their mother wanted to make sure that they were all, had their etiquette up to par and whatever, and they're entering the season together. Um, you have an accent. Apparently, people tell me I do. Depends on where you're from, though. If I don't have an accent, you probably have the same accent as me. I don't know who this naked lady is, but she's getting deleted because ain't no way maintain you're messing up my vibe anyways <laughs> um i think everyone has an accent that's what i'm saying if you don't think i have an accent then you probably just have the same accent as me um i dreamt pixie became a blonde oh lordy i do not look good um um blonde anyways so what was I say? Oh, we need to plan their coming, coming out into society party first and foremost. Honestly, I think people are tripping because I think Doris looks just like her dad, to be honest. And I think just because she doesn't look like her sisters is why people are bullying her and started this rumor. And now people think she's illegitimate. But I think she looks a lot like her dad, um, to be honest. Anyways... She does. Some people are cruel. Yeah, literally. But Lord Fetter is here. Also, her mother's job, I think it's actually kind of like fucking hilarious, her job. Her job is, is that she's a socialite. 
<laughs> so she doesn't even like do work. It says, as a socialite, you must associate with the best of society, throw parties, host balls, check in on friends, but most of all, never be caught in a scandal. Okay. Alrighty. How's her relationship with her dad? Great question. Um, okay. He has a communications degree. Um, strict. So he has a strict dynamic with Doris. Um, and then I don't think he has any like special relationship with the other two girls, but he's the strictest on Doris, while the mother is the strictest on Blair. And Blair currently feels bored with the um, decorations here. She says the aesthetics here just don't amplify anything other than vapid humdrum. So I don't know if Courtney just does not want to live this kind of life. Or I mean, Blair, I'm so sorry, Blair. I don't know if Blair just doesn't want to live this kind of life or she's just tired of, you know, the expectations on her or whatever. Or maybe she's just going to end up just like her mom. Not sure. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and plan this party for them. Also, one thing I think is cool. I don't know which mod did this. I don't know if it was the creator of the save file. I'm not sure what in the hell did all this. But the holidays are different. So there's Mother's Day. There's a jousting tournament on Saturday in the game. Um, Ostara, I'm assuming that's like uh, Easter, but it might be in German. Um, they have a spring cleaning day, a sewing campaign, sewing, sewing, I don't know. Beltane, I don't know what Beltane is, but apparently you tell stories um, and do like fire. Um, and then she has this holiday called Leda. I'm assuming some of this is just like German words, but you do water fun fire, get flowers. Um, and then honoring the memory on this day down here. And I'm sure throughout, you see throughout the other um, months, there's mysterious night, which is like Halloween kind of. They have preparing for Christmas day and then Christmas day, the Yule festival, first day of winter um farewell to winter holiday uh pagan girls are giggling okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know i don't know which religions and whatnot these are based after but i think it's all cool as hell all the different holidays and whatever um like i said the save file and all the additional mods i because it's a list i'm not gonna lie to you you are not gonna be able to get this save file and all the mods i added on top of it unless you play on a gaming pc because your shit will blow up um, when it was downloading all of this, it, my computer felt like a small furnace, but, um, Beltane is like May Day. Okay. Um, will this be on YouTube? Yes. Um, so yeah, all of that is linked in my custom content list on my lowest tier on Patreon. I also made a video on TikTok about this save file and whatnot and the girl who made it. Um, so we already own an estate we can check for invitations which i'm assuming that means to like different events and whatnot um but, but for right now we're gonna go ahead and plan this event um so they can have like chaperone dates after we meet somebody they can do charity galas you know whatever executions so if somebody does something bad we can go to an execution um what kind of graphics card do you have? I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember the name off name of it off the top of my head, but I will try to post that somewhere if I remember later. Um, a debutante ball, which we will um, go to one of those, but first, also religious gathering. I think that's from a mod though. Um, coming out ball. So we are gonna do a coming out ball, a ball to commemorate a young person's first entrance into society um dude i can't believe i said midwinter <laughs> no wonder doris is so good at parties um so our new ladies coming out into society are doris blair and courtney and then the hosts are gonna be her parents and then the guests we can have up to 50 but we are only going to be inviting um uh, like nobility slash people close enough to nobility. So like this captain, this chef, no, 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 no. The circus people, no. These two are supposed to say Lord and Lady, but Lord and Madam actually, but they don't have that to find their name. But I know for a fact, I actually made him. Um, and then should we let the Jacobs come? Should the Jacobs be invited to the 
to the thing. I don't know if they should. Maybe one. Should we just invite one Jacob? Just one Jacob? Does Doris have any friends? No. Right now, she has none. She's been very sheltered at home, and this is her entrance into society. So hopefully she makes some. Just one. Okay, we'll invite one Jacob. Ah, uh, you look real Jacoby. I'll do you. Also, there's multiple kings and queens because there's multiple different areas. And while I realize in Bridgerton, you're not having multiple kings and queens. This is not Bridgerton. This is Pixar Eliverse. So kings and queens from different areas will all be going to the same events. <laughs> um, this king right here is of like the, the Vikings and the werewolves and whatever. He better fucking behave. And then we're not going to invite King Neptune. I'm not going to invite any of the ocean people. I'm going to let them do their thing over there um i don't know what jacobs are i'm gonna be real with you kia i don't really fucking know what they are either but i think i do know kind of from um that one russian show but what was that catherine the great the great i'm pretty sure they had a jacob in there and he was like always on shrooms but anyways um <laughs> i think they're a priest <laughs> um her mom's already invited she's already invited we're not inviting her because she she's all about uh she's of an area we're not inviting um they're already coming we're not gonna invite our chef and our gardener she can come she can come both of these girls are ladies who are also entering the season she's a little young i'm pretty sure she's a teenager still but she can come um um lord 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 well that's her dad he's already coming lord oh lord lyron <laughs> um lord nick lord the fish people can stay where they're at. Madam, um, not her, not her, 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 not her. Mm, 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 mm. None of the maids, sorry. Very sorry, all you maid Olive, maid Sarah. Um, please tell me there's a hot duke. None of them have the title duke. They all have the title lord. Um, but I have seen some hot ones in here through my editing outfits. Uh, but I also created one of them because I was, I was like, well, I'm already in the thick of it. Oh, wait, we don't need any NPCs in here. Um, I know there's more people than this that I need to invite. I'm trying to, oh, Noble. Um, do we want Noble? Eh, no, he looks like an asshole. Peasant, 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 peasant. A lot of these are peasants. I kind of like how it's all sorted, though. It makes it a little bit easier to just go through all this. Should we invite the Pope? Does the Pope come to shit like this? We have two princes. This is the one of the Viking area. Oh, wait, we have three princes. These two are Viking princes, which... Um, yes, no. No Pope, yes. Okay, y'all are really making it difficult for me. Um, thank you, British Sarah. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Andrian. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Ellie. Melanie, Piss McGee, Elmy. Um... Does a pope shit in the woods? Probably. No pope. Okay. We'll invite Sir, whatever the hell. Um. Oh, the queen. Definitely the queen is invited. Well, one of the queens. Not the fish queen. Uh, do we want to invite the viking queen? I guess. Sir. 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 Sir, sir. I don't even know any of these people. I don't remember decorating them. Hopefully they got party outfits. Otherwise, I'll be deleting them. Um, we're inviting him. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All of these are coming. And then, do I need any of these other ones? No, I don't think so. I think I've got every... We got 36 people coming. Damn! Yeah, I think this should all be um, Gucci. So, for those of you wondering, like, so what's going on with Doris right now and, um, Lord Farquaad? Well, Lord Farquaad lives so damn far, we're not even gonna see him physically in here. Um, he does exist, though, and Doris has met him before, whenever they were younger, um, because they are similar, well, not similar ages, but, you know, he was, like, a few years older than her and whatever she has met him before and they do write letters back and forth but it's nothing like romantic like they're friends so she's like distant pen pals with lord farquaad but nothing like romantic between them um i don't want to have their party at fucking the house i want to have it at the ball place 
Oh my god, we're gonna have to have the party at our house. I'm gonna have to lock every single damn door here. Can we have it at somebody else's house? Okay, I don't know what these other houses look like, to be real with you. Um, should we have it at this one? This one looks like it might have a good ballroom. Does he live far, far away? <laughs> we can have it at the literal... Because this is like a really big um place. Yeah, fuck it. It'll be a surprise for all of us. I wanted to have it at the ballroom, but whatever. What time are we going to do this event? Let's place it at 6 p.m. maybe? Have it at the Pope's house. It won't let me. It's only letting me pick like houses or generic. And I had changed the other place to generic. I wonder why I didn't stay. Whatever. For our next ball, I'll figure out how to turn the ball place into generic. We'll start off with this castle. Um, damn. So our, okay, nobody freak out, but we're having our coming out um, well, not, you know, coming out into society. Um, party. Who's this lady? Cetra? Oh, okay. She's a, she's one of the church people. Don't look at us like that sideways, bitch. Um, this whole save has, like, wagons and damn, um, horse carriages and things everywhere instead of benches. It literally replaced, like, everything. There's pirate ships in the water out here. Um, it's all very interesting. I guess that's where we're having the thing at. Thank you, Pips McGee. Um, holy moly, I haven't caught her live in like two months. Aw, welcome back. Aw, her dad's feeling sad right now. It said, should I be more lenient from being strict? And then he said, perhaps you should loosen his expectations a bit. I don't know. Also, they don't have phones in this save. They have notebooks instead that they pull out. And they also don't have computers. They have notebooks that they'll use. Doris is going upstairs. Um, she has to pee. Oh, they also don't have toilets. They have shit buckets. Yeah. 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 Is that a pot of shit in a pot? <laughs> Thank you, Lachey. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm real scared about this crashing, so I'm gonna just, um... Did they just say NAR? Probably did, to be honest. Chamber pots. Shit bucket, chamber pot. Same difference. Um, not in the bedroom. That's not her bedroom. Doris's room is this one. Thank you, Daisy, for the ICU and the gamer cat. Doris's room is this one. And then her sister's actually share room. And it's, they've said it's because they just get along better, um, but, and they have, like, the same style and whatever, but I feel like they just don't want to be around Doris. I don't know. But anyways, her sister's share room, and then, um, is this another little chamber pot? No. No. And then this is her parents' room. I think Doris has the best room, though. I love her room. I think it's cute as shit. With the bunnies and everything. <laughs> I can see Doris. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. I work with your mom. Like my literal mother. Because if so, that's crazy. Um, I don't even live in the same state as my mom or anything like that. <sighs> okay, Doris, get up. Also, one thing Doris does, she has a skill that we've never seen her use. Um, in the Shrekiverse, but she's actually quite good at it. Um, play a song. Let's do a romantic song. The Swan. Doris knows how to play the harp and is quite good at it. Quite good at it. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Gracie. Um, I'm so late, but I met another Pixarella fan in the wild. What? That is crazy. Doris is the swan. Play us a little song. Doris. Yes, I live in Oklahoma as proof. I told her I'll give you a follow. Aw, thanks. Well, yeah, you definitely do actually know my mom then. Tell her I said hey. <laughs> well, that's beautiful, right? This is so cute. Okay, Doris. 
Also, Dirk, you came in on a good night because we're doing the prequel to my series right now, so this is like the perfect day to start. I'm so excited for her to come out into society. Thank you, Court, for the shiny air balloon. I'm also excited to see how her sisters do, because I know we don't know them yet, but I am very intrigued by both of them. Look at her with her little notebook and whatever. Um, both of y'all should be working on your little instruments too. Y'all are about to go to this thing later. Um, oh wait, that's too small. One. Oh, that's nice that her mom is dancing to this. The Asia. Um, thank you to Shay for sharing the live. Tennessee picks real fans where are you at? <laughs> I can't believe you met one in the wild though, Amanda. That's crazy. Um, oh, that sounds beautiful, Doris. She gave this up for the swamp. We will, at the end of this live, know what happened as to why she left all this and why we've never seen her family before. Um, and whatnot. Uh, I feel like she and her mom have a special relationship. It is so sweet that she's just watching Doris. Everybody in the household is coming to watch Doris play the harp! That is so adorable! So adorable. Um, also, outside, they have, like, places to sit, um, where they can, like, the servants <laughs> will come and serve food. And they have a tea room, and we can actually throw a tea party if we meet some friends um, that can come to our tea party. Also, I'm going to just go ahead and let y'all know, I think this live is going to be longer than an hour because I want to make sure I get the whole thing done. So this might end up being like a two-hour long just Doris live, and we might have to skip Hogwarts Legacy for, for tonight um, because I'm dedicated to this. Um, was the cousin that came to visit Grim... Grimace on Grimm's side. Yes. That was on Grimm's side of the family, not Doris's. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. 102k likes. Word. But yeah, I love their house. They also have some, like, chickens and whatnot out here. Um, but Doris, why don't you... She played her little harp. She did what she was supposed to do. She's, you know, looking like, you know, she's doing the right thing. We are gonna... Oh my god, we got a letter from Leyland Muckmeyer. Hey, I heard you became friends, blah, 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 blah. So, let's talk about Leyland Muckmeyer. And I know some people pronounce that name Leyland, but I like pronouncing it Leyland. Anyways. Um, Lord Fetter earned 695 Smolingtons from Navington Estate. That's their estate name, is the Navington Estate. Lease land, build improvements, and maintain the estate to increase earnings. Um, and then he got another 708 because he has two different estates that are both called the Navington Estates. So they just earned some money from having their estate. Um, that's my husband's name, Leyland. Uh, I love that name. Um, so Leyland is a peasant. Um, Doris knows him because he used to work for her family and then her father fired him like very angrily fired him and Doris never got to find out why her father fa her father fired him but they're good friends and everything and um he's her only friend literally her only friend she has right now and so she'll like sneak away to be able to talk to him and like sneak in the letters and whatnot that she gets from him um so yeah today's mail has been delivered Doris come check the mail in case you got anything um, mm -mm -mm. wait, what did I just click? Get mail. Oh, yeah, go get the mail. Sorry, sorry. Get the mail. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, pretty little psycho. Thank you, Sheridan. Thank you, Megs, for the lover's glasses. A peasant is calling. Peasant Alexandra Muckmeyer is calling to chat. And she's calling our maid. I'm gonna just say she's writing her a letter in my head. How does she know her? I guess she just knows the other peasants in town. Oh, it's her niece. Oh, that's her niece. Well, who the hell all are you related to, girly? So her brother is a chef for someone else's family and her sister is married to 
Oh. Oh, I understand now. I understand. Okay, okay, okay. Telegram. She just shouting. <laughs> um. See, this is what I mean about the save file. There's already so many different family. Oh my god, her talking on the notebook, bro. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, um, these are kind of like the servants' quarters down here where they live and do things and um, whatever. Her notebook, yeah. Doris has collected everything from the mailbox. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'm going to sell that statue she has. Um, anyways... We are going to try to sneak away to hang out with her friend, Leyland, before we meet a bunch of hot people later. <laughs> There's so much detail in the safe out, right? Thank you, Kiki. Uh, thank you, Amanda. Phone book. Uh, literally phone book. Now, I don't know where they're going to go hang out at. Also, Doris has to, like, not be seen out um, doing this because uh, Lady... Whistle down will talk about her. So she's just gonna go over where she could, where could she go that maybe nobody's gonna like think anything's weird. Not the execution square. Is there just like a damn park? My god. Apparently not. Okay, let's just go over to his house and talk to him outside because it isn't kind of like the same neighborhood ish. So we're just gonna talk to him outside. We're not gonna go into his house and do anything scandalous. Um, I would try to get her to drag one of her sisters into it, but they would probably just snitch on her. Literally probably just snitch on her. I've missed way too much. I have no idea what's happening. This is a prequel. Today's episode has nothing to do with, well, really nothing to do with any other thing I've ever done. It's just Doris before the Shrekiverse. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh no, where is he? Oh, she looks pregnant. I think she might be about to have a baby child. Um, so this is his father and that's his mother. Um, so I guess they know that they're friends, but I mean, they're peasants, so they could only hope that Lady Doris would be interested in him, but it's not even like that. Like, they're just friends, I think. Okay, hold on. He needs to come outside. He needs to come outside before we got a freaking problem. Come here together. Shit buckets is about to be born. <laughs> How are you today, Pixie? Oh, I'm just really great. Oh, look at her fanning herself! Um... I've just spent all day uh, with this and whatever. Um, let's go show appreciation for letting us come see him. So we're just gonna, okay, let's complain to him about the fact that we're illegitimate because I think she's obviously gonna be nervous about what she has going on today um, and having to go to the ball because I think she thinks it's like embarrassing uh, coming out to society whenever um, she's having to go with her sisters that everybody says she's uglier than. Wow, what a sim. Doris and Abington just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Leyland. Oh my God, girl. That man has taken, that man has so many of the qualities that make Lady Doris's heart race as if it were on a cross country marathon. Their wholesome features meet Lady Doris's desire so readily that's almost as if, oh my God, Doris. Ah. Uh... I do like their little house, the little steam room. Cute. Um, all of this is so cute. So adorable. So she's talking to him about, she's complaining about how people say she's illegitimate. Um, let's do some, well, don't do society gossip with him because he doesn't care. Um, let's have a deep conversation with him. And then give him a hug. Thanksgiving Day was awful. I didn't know it was Thanksgiving. My bad. Oh, they have a dog. Pirate is the dog's name. 
That's so cute! So cute! Not the different world trope. <laughs> um, we can tell, express our admiration for him. Um, don't ask me who partner. She would never. This Doris would never. Um, uh, I'm just like discuss interests and whatever and what's going on um, in their lives because she can't come over here all the time, obviously. Thank you, Sheridan. Thank you, pretty little psycho. However, her mother is like so far up the other two's butts that especially her oldest sister is so far up her butt that I don't think they notice like so much that Doris is leaving the house for a little bit, going on a little strolly stroll down the road to talk to Leyland. Um, look at her showing him something in her her notebook. LOL. Shitley would love that dog. She would. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they're having this little conversation. It's wild that she finds him um, attractive. Drop handkerchief? Stop it. Okay, do it. Do it. Just drop your handkerchief and see if he um, picks it up. Is she gonna do it? Do I have to click it again? I think I have to click it again. I don't think it went through. I think I might, like, actually scream. I think I might literally scream. <gasps> oh, he grabbed it! Oh, my lord. Thank you, Unicorn Part Second LV. Oh, my god. <laughs> Lady Doris has learned the following traits about Leyland. He's loyal. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That was so cute. Okay, enough of this. We had to go home and get ready. We have, we're coming out to society later. Goodbye, peasant Le or Leyland. I was about to call him Le Landon. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Court. Clutches pearls. That's what I'm saying. They need to run away together. Well, she's running away back home before she gets caught. That dude's fine. I think it's a peasant, though. Are you a peasant? Yeah, peasant Antoli. Um, was kind of expecting a bend and snap. <laughs> Leyland to Farquaad How Every question like that will be answered by the end of this live as to how the hell... How Doris's life turns into what it is. Um, the wholesome ghost. So yeah, Leyland is dirty, but he's not dirty, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see all the people at the, um, ball. Uh, apparently our chef is feeling real cheerful lately. I love that. I love that for her. It keeps talking about how Thanksgiving is awful. So sorry about it. Um, so Courtney's feeling real cheerful right now. That's great for you, Courtney. Courtney seems a little, oh my God, the parents just kissed. Courtney seems a little um, oblivious to literally everything to me, but maybe that's just me projecting onto her because I love Doris. But she hasn't been mean to Doris though. Maybe she should come check on Doris, see how Doris is feeling. Like, she hasn't been mean to Doris. They, none of them have, like, negative relationships. So maybe I'm just making this up in my head, but um, this one's Doris, right? I think so. Let's go. Um, um, friendly affection. Let's go give Doris a hug, because obviously Doris is probably the most nervous out of everybody. Actually, it might be, it might be Blair. Blair's taking a stress nap right now. It might be Blair that's the most concerned about today because they have the highest expectations for her. She's the oldest. She's the one who's been getting etiquette trained the longest. Um, so, um, does Doris even really live there? Right now, yeah. Thank you, your current muse. This is where she's grown up. This is Doris's um, house. A sub wave has started. Oh, thank you, Elmi, for subscribing. Um says get five subscriptions in 15 minutes to achieve it all right thank you just Aaron. thank you illy um i feel like i'm either gonna hate blair or i'm really gonna love blair i'm not sure um 
We'll see. We'll see how the sisters are at the ball. I'm interested to see if they find anybody. Um, also, both of our both of our people that help with things, they have the literal, it says scullery worker. Um, so they're literally have the servant thing. And then it also gives them a trait with it. Where's the little traits? Am I tripping? How do you look at their... Am I literally tripping right now trying to look at her traits? This is her stuff. Skip. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> so they have the servant traits. This sim is a member of the serving class, existing among the very wealthy while possessing none of their advantages. Um, okay. Thank you, British Air, for sending a sub. Thank you, Court, for sending a sub. Um, or multiple subs. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Max, for the lover's glasses. Um, if Blair doesn't marry right, it sets a family up for failure. The family success relies on her. Yeah, and he, the father is like, who's calling him now? Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think it's going to be great for you. Yeah, it is. We're a great family. Um, thank you, Dazzy, for subscribing. Um, so yeah, the, their father wants all three of them married off, like, this season. So, but I mean, they're rich as hell. Look at how rich they are. So I'm not sure why he's in such a hurry to get all three of them married off. Um, other than he doesn't want to be embarrassed ending up having like a daughter, like a, a spinster or whatever. But thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Pretty Little Psycho. Um, the swamp is a set is a step up in the bathroom department. <laughs> yeah, they literally have like pots and whatnot but love the detail on here i'm gonna start speeding up the time i hope that this house we picked is a good place for the ball because i literally have a whole ballroom in here but it didn't didn't let us do that for whatever reason um wait hold on let me try going and changing what the ballroom is because i had changed it to generic i don't know why it didn't stay that way Let's go manage world, save and go to manage worlds. Um, love this. Is it residential? Um, I think I just put it as generic, but we'll see here in a second. But it seemed to let us do residential places, which is weird. Um, which I guess I could technically place someone to live at the... You can see it's a ballroom and it says generic. I wonder why we can't have the ball there. I almost want to move one of the people over here to like live there and then see if then we could have it there. You know what I mean? Let's try that. Let's try making it residential, putting someone living there that's going to go to the ball anyways. 126k likes wow oh thank you guys for all the likes it sometimes won't do generic you could try it as a lounge this place is so cute i love how there's like some other people just like set up and so it's gonna like feel so full looking and look they like write things down over here and there's a little bar and oh it's so cute it's gonna be perfect it's going to be absolutely perfect, darling, um, if we can get it to work. So, let's see. We'll do it as residential. Because I don't think it was showing up any other lounges there either. I don't know. Um, click into the lot and double check because it's been wrong before my game. So, I just saved it like that. Let's come up here. Yes, you got to use that. That's what I'm saying. I want to be able to use it. If we have to do it at somebody's house, we will. But The teal and white dress. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Pitch McGee. So I'm gonna, just going to move one of the people. And I'll move him back. Um, but I'm just going to move one of them over there. For now. Uh, which one am I going to move? We'll do one of the sons. Which son? Oh, wait, which one's more? Mm, I'm gonna move him over there. And then we'll do free real estate on 
Thank you, Jesse, for sending a sub. Let's do. Is it him? Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully that works. I guess we're about to find out. Sorry, I'm saving so much. I'm so scared it's going to crash, and I want to be able to load back in if it does. <laughs> Anyone else's man listen to TikToks on absolute max volume? I don't know why they do that. I don't know why. Um, thank you, Lucy, for subscribing. Oh, wait, that was a, well, still. Still thank you, even though Jess Ant sent it to you. But also thank you <laughs> for being here and watching. Um, they do do that. Yes, they do. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, it feels high as fuck in my room, not gonna lie. So wait, now I'm gonna have to click all these people again, but they're pretty well sorted, so it's not gonna be that bad, I don't think. So let's go ahead and plan this party. Oh wait, we already have this one set for six. Let me see if it'll let me do it. Um, thank you, Court, for the gem gun. Thank you so much. Um, I wanna see if it's gonna let us. Oh wait, we have to invite that guy. I understand. I understand how this works. Hold on. Let's do the hosts are them two. The guests, they can come. He can come. I think I'll be able to go through this pretty fast, not gonna lie, just because of how well all the names are sorted. Um... Unfortunately, you can't come, Leyland. Unfortunately. Oh, wait, he's the host. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all start peeping some of the people coming so we can kind of, like, scout out who we want to get our girly pops to talk to there. Maid, maid, maid. Mm, 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 mm. NPCs. Thank you, Illy. Thank you, Piss McGee. Mm, 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 mm. Pastor? I don't even remember seeing him before. Orphan, peasant, 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 NPC, peasant. Mm -mm -mm. We just need the sirs, the queen. <sighs> the pope, we already decided you're not invited, actually. Prince, 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 queen. Mmm. There are some sirs. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Sir. Yep, that seems like everybody to me. We'll do an entertainer. Do this. Do this. I'm lost, what are we doing tonight? Doris's backstory. Please let us do the ballroom now. Yes. Okay, let's do it for 5 p.m. And then we'll s cancel that one. Perfect. We can use the ballroom. I'm so late tonight. I was helping my student with our paper. I hope you all have a lovely night. We still have over an hour of this live, Lauren, BTW. Um, because I'm, I'm staying live until I finish this damn story. So it will go on. Probably at least another hour. Um, so, so far what you've missed is Doris comes from a rich family in a different kind of world, time. Her father owns an estate. Um, her only friend is this guy that used to work for the estate that's like poor shit. And then her and her sisters are being introduced in this, into society today and they're throwing like a ball for that. And uh, this is young Doris. Everything else, you'll just have to kind of, like, pay attention. But <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Gracie. Um, love the long lives. It's going to be a bitch to upload to YouTube, but it's fine. Uh, thank you, Alien. So that means our party's about to start. I've never done one of these before, so it's going to be just as exciting for me as it is for you. Thank you, Alien. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Oh, my God. Leyland keeps hitting our lineup. Thank you, Court. Thank you, Jenny. The coming out ball is about to begin. Huzzah. Let's go.
Oh, I'm so nervous. But I'm also so excited. Shit. They're three-story house rich. Oh, they're rich, rich. They're rich, rich. Society ball. Oh my god. I'm so excited. My day starts off watching your YouTube videos. Aww. Leyland has it bad for Doris. Apparently she has it bad for him. Did you see that message that popped up about how attracted to him she is? Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm gonna give y'all a little tea. Um, um, her sisters were asking if she for sure wanted to wear green to this damn ball because they said that she looks like she belongs in a swamp. And I think that's some good little foreshadowing. Anyways, maybe Doris is trying to look like she belongs in a fucking swamp. Anywho, um, Doris is feeling real. Everybody's feeling real flirty. Oh, is it because it's their thing? Oh, wait, a breathtaking encounter? A breathtaking encounter? Oh, honey, your dad is not gonna let you talk to him. That is a Viking, bro. Oh, wait, no, he's a knight. That's a knight, girl. Your dad is not gonna settle for a fucking knight. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Miss Blair. Your dad is not going to let you do that. Um, Doris is feeling flirty from seeing Leyland earlier. Um, decorated good, feeling fulfilled. And then she has proper clothes on. Aw, her dad is dancing with her outside. That's so cute. Can everybody go inside, though? Um, I'm gonna get kind of all of them to go inside. I'm glad everybody's all flirty. Not, um, not her sister Courtney, though. Courtney's not flirty. Courtney's just excited to be here. I'm gonna make her mom not flirty, because that's a little bizarre and then the other staff isn't here um mm -mm -mm. i kind of feel bad about her sisters because doris is living her best life uh nothing wrong with a flirty hanky drop though um who is this person showing up naked you better change your clothes sir whatever the fuck absolutely not yeah put your damn proper clothes on please and thank you Look at her sister walking in all confident. I do love that for her. Her mom's got potty. Let me fix that. But yeah, they all have these traits. They're in the Gentry class or Gentry class. Um, they're wealthy. Everybody knows they're wealthy. Is that a damn chicken crossing the road? Why do we have wild chickens walking around? Why did the chicken cross the road? Because we are in a crazy save file. That's why. That's why. Um, <laughs> yeah, lots of horses and carriages. Um, anybody not properly dressed, I swear to God, I'll delete you. The queen not showing up in her right outfit? Okay, I'm not going to delete you, but put your fucking clothes on, ma'am. Jesus. Oh, the queen looks real bitchy, not going to lie. I am not, um, I am not going to lie. <laughs> to get to the fixer all the time. Oh, it's packed in here. My goodness. Um, Doris is walking in confident. Aw, I love Doris. Look at young Doris. Look at her sis. Oh my god, all three of the sisters in one shot. I wish Neon was here. I'm gonna take a picture for Neon. All three of her sisters lined up here for their coming out. Um, ball. She's no Queen Charlotte. <laughs> I hate how her hair turns blonde when I go out, but whatever. Um, her sister is, like, really attracted to that one dude. I don't know where he went, but which was the one that she was, like, super into when she saw him? I don't even know where he went. I don't even know which one. Who is this dude? Ooh! Okay, now this is what you need to be going after, uh, Blair. This dude, what are you? A lord? Lord Dakian? Dashin? Lord Dashin. That has to be how you say it. Dashin. Um, he was bald. <laughs> the Skyler sisters. Okay. Um, 
He's fine. Okay, actually, Courtney, you're not interested in anybody. Come over here. Come do, <gasps> come do a ladylike introduction. Lord Johnny Depp. <laughs> 150k likes, period. Period. Thank you, Illy. Thank you, Pretty Little Psycho. Oh, the way he just... Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. That was so adorable. Um, Discuss etiquette. No, girl, don't be weird. Ask to court. No, you don't ask him to court. He asks us to court, right? Right? Um, No, don't do any of that. Literally, don't do any of these things. Girl, I don't even... I don't know what you need to do. I'm going to leave you to it, though. Doris, what are we doing for you, girly? You cannot be just the ugly one here. Um, oh, look at Blair and her mom dancing. Cute. So cute. Her and her mom out here dancing. And so far, Courtney, it says new debutante. Oh, my God. So cute. Okay, Doris has a... The, the Viking King talking to her, probably about his son, and there's actually, like, several guys around. Girl, don't flirt with him, please, God. Oh, no, she's just talking, but she's all, here, I'm gonna take away her flirtiness. Okay, she's confident. She feels confident, um, and then her dad wants to talk to her. Oh, she has to bow to her dad. Wow. <gasps> her dad's gonna dance with her! Is this like a first dance type of thing? Where they had to dance with their parents first? I don't know. Look at his neck coming out right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Still, that's so cute, Doris! That is so precious! Oh, bitch, can you get out of the way? Me and my dad are trying to dance right now. Oh, they're bowing. Okay. Other people are dancing. Excuse the fuck out of me. Thank you, Sarah! Um, I would cry, to be honest. Um, you need to ask this dude to dance with you. Uh, I keep getting their names confused. Courtney. Um, Courtney needs to... Oh, no, I didn't click on Courtney. I clicked on Doris. Courtney, you need to thank him for coming. And you need to... How do we ask him to... Okay, we can ask him to dance. Ask him to dance with us. What are you over here doing? Oh, she's all the way over here. Girl, what are you doing? Talking to your mom and sister? Doris is looking across the room like, hey. We need him to dance with us. Ask him to dance, girl. You can't wait on him. He's obviously shy. Oh, wait, he's coming over right now. Okay, Courtney. Oh, my God. I want to be Courtney right now. I want to be Courtney right now. She's kind of in the best spot because nobody calls her ugly, but also the expectations aren't on her, like how they're on Blair. The side eye is crazy. Can't get over Court's hair. I love it. This is so cute! Oh my lord. I love this for her! Oh my god. Okay. Um... Who else is here? Who's this lady? She looks fucking rude. Madam Maria. That means she has daughters here that are, um, oh my god, all of the knights are just over here. All I'm gonna say is, Blair, you could probably, um, just sneak away for a second and do a ladylike introduction to the knight. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, where are the other girls that are supposed to be here? Are they, like, standing outside or something? Because we did invite other girls, but maybe we'll just have to have another, another event. Uh, them outside. The Viking princes never came in here. Maybe they're, they didn't actually want to come. Um, but interesting. This is just their introduction to society, so definitely don't need to get engaged or anything on the first night. Um, but I almost want her to ask if she can court Lord Dashin because, uh, anyone else lagging? Oh no, I hope you're not lagging. Um, music will make this magical, right? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this ball. So, 
nobody has to dance with Doris, but also nobody asked to dance with Blair, and Blair literally didn't talk to a single person other than her mother, so don't be disappointed in yourself, girl. It's okay. We're going to have more events. It's just the first event of the season. It's just the first event of the season. Look at the queen storming out. Okay, bye, girl. Bye, Miss Queen. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go the hell home so we can plan our next event. Everybody go home. Who's calling Doris? <gasps> oh my god, Leyland is asking us to go to the bar with him. Okay, we gotta be real careful about this shit. We gotta be real careful. Is everyone frozen for others to accept the family? What do you mean you're frozen? I hope y'all aren't all frozen. That would suck. That would really suck. Oh, this is gonna be scandalous. Oh, they're- Oh, you're talking about the other people on the outskirts? Yeah, they're not moving because they're just- They're part of the lot. <laughs> they're part of the lot to make the room, um, look, uh, more full. Okay, Doris, I see you changed your outfit. You still look rich, though. You still look rich as hell. Oh my gosh, she's feeling so flirty now that she sees him. Okay, share a secret. Tell him that you really didn't want to be there anyways, and you're glad that he called you. Tell him some of the gossip from tonight. Um, oh my god, Doris and Leyland. Um, but yeah, complain about it because, you know, we're illegitimate, and nobody takes us seriously, or whatever, or people say we're... Oh, we can flirt with our fan... Why does it keep saying this Thanksgiving was awful? I don't know. Um. Attempt to swim. We can ask about his parents. Okay, do that. Girl, I'm flirty from seeing him too. <laughs> Regency, we can't ask to court him because, you know. Uh, why do you scare us like that? You fucking asshole. Um. Um. She has to use the bathroom, so go use the bathroom. Um, he said his, I am the child of a peasant, Leo Muckmeyer. All right, well, that's fine. Girl, you cannot use the bathroom in there. Y'all need to stay out here, actually. You're going to be seen by somebody and get in trouble. You just need to stay out here with him. She should tell him that he is attractive, that he looks better than any of the other guys that were there. Because honestly, kind of true. We didn't see anybody that great there. Oh, my God. There is some peasant girl walking over here, but I don't think that she'll tell on us, hopefully, that we're out here. Um, I mean, she's not doing anything crazy. She is not- she's just doing a little bit of flirting with him. Um, attempt to swoon. I don't know. They're having a little bit of a suggestive conversation. Um, thank you Chrissy, thank you Illy, thank you Lisa embrace girl you cannot touch him you cannot absolutely not um uh, but we're gonna promise to dedicate a song to him on our harp she's just being silly yeah exactly propose a scandalous question no girl do not do not do not do not let's just um we need to tell him goodbye because it we need to get home we need to get home before anybody notices that we're gone. So give him his little hug. Oh, I want a photo of that! So cute! So cute! Is she into him? Uh, yeah, she's super into him. Look at what it says. Perceived as extremely attractive. We know that he's romantic and he's loyal. Um, we know that he's a peasant. Um... So, let's go ahead and end this and go back home. Go back home. I can't believe it's already been over an hour of this live. I feel like it just started. <laughs> uh, don't worry, my darling. Is that soot on you? Oh, hell no. You better watch that hand, mister. <laughs> they need a bush. Um... The way she's literally running home. They ain't got cars. They ain't got cars. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh, I forgot to save before he left. Please don't freeze up. Wait, what happened to Stephanie? Um, I'm so ridiculous later. I was in my depression puddle and forgot. Oh my god, girl, been there. I'm glad you're here now. I hope you feel better. Um, was that Beetlejuice? I don't know who the hell that was. Like I said, I did not, um, make this, make this save. I do know some of the people in here, but I don't know all the characters. And I deleted. I don't know why every time I load in, it says Thanksgiving was awful. Weird. Um, great. She got home at the same time as everybody else. Perfect. Let's go to bed before there's even a problem. So Doris, you go to sleep in your room. Um, actually, she's probably gonna stay up for a little bit if I had to guess. She can play on her notebook. Um, mm -mm -mm. She can chat with Leyland. Uh, right. Web. Interesting. So it basically works like just like a computer, but um, it's a notebook that they use instead, which is so cute. So freaking cute. Anyways, let's come to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Everybody go to sleep and we'll wake up in the morning and plan another event. Um, I'm going to lower everybody's sleepiness and raise all of their other skills. I love UI cheats because without this, I feel like I would not enjoy the game if I had to constantly fix everybody's needs the actual way. Using chat, using messenger pigeons, <laughs> literally. Mm -hmm. I also have. This is one of those episodes today where at the end there's going to be a video. That's how you know the episode goes deep. <laughs> I hope that Blair isn't being too hard on herself right now after today. She looks upset. She looks upset going to bed right now. But it's okay, girl. It is okay. Doris is in her bed asleep. Aw, I love your videos. Was that a car outside? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. I see birds and stuff. I haven't seen a car, but there might be. I don't know. We're doing our best with the time period shit. Um, send him a raven! <laughs> Look at the notebook all- Oh my god, she should get up and- I know it says talk to him, but we're just gonna say, uh, uh, Chat with him is in. Send him a letter. She stays using her fan. I will give her that. She's getting up at midnight to go write him a letter real quick. And she's still feeling so flirty every time she thinks about him. Ah. Uh, so cute. Doris. She's thinking about popcorn, girl. I don't even think we have popcorn. I also love her view outside. Is that a damn? Oh, it's a duck. It's a duck. I was about to say, is there a flamingo in that pond? She was always rizzed up. She has to use a fan. They probably don't have AC. True. Wait, why are we going to be emotionally damaged? I know, everything is all fun and games until you remember that none of these people are in her life in the future. And you're like, wait, why? Don't worry. It'll all be answered. It's fine. Her sister's like, I have to go to bed. Today drained me. I'm the only one of us who did a damn thing. Well, good for you, Courtney. Good for you, dancing with a lord. Maybe we'll get a damn prince. Okay? Um. Oh. Remember when she was bit by a bat and got flirty? Yes. In the future times. In the future. Doris, just know, one day in the future, you're going to go on a trip with your daughter-in-law. You're going to get bit by a bat. And you're going to get turned on. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. I just know her sister is... Like, look at her shaking her head in her sleep. I feel bad for Blair. I feel like I shouldn't feel bad for Blair. Because I feel like she might be a bitch. But, like, okay, she's dreaming about llamas. Interesting. Um, I love seeing her type on her paper. <laughs> her tapping the notebooks. I feel bad for Blair, though, all the expectations. And I feel like Courtney is just, like, has been lucky so far. 
Um, is she attracted to Lord Dashin? Oh, she perceives him as very attractive. I mean, he is. He is. Damn. Thank you, Megan, for subscribing. Thank you so much. Doris has such a beautiful future ahead of her, full of so much love, and I love that for her. Hey, girl, what are we doing? We're doing Doris's past. This is before anything ever happens in the Shrekiverse. A prequel, if you will. Lord Dashin seems a little sneaky to me. He seems a little hot as fuck to me, personally. Damn. Um, I wonder what she thinks about Doris. They're good friends. It's her sister. Okay. All right. Interesting. Her parents are asleep in the bed. Great. Everything's going great so far. Now, whenever he wakes up, we need to plan another event. Um, charity gala. Why do I want to see someone executed? <laughs> What happened at the ball? At the ball, I mean, they got introduced to society, but the only one who danced with the dude was Courtney. She danced with Lord Dashin. That's literally the only thing that happened. And then after it, Doris got invited by this peasant dude, Leyland, her friend, to go out to a bar. They didn't go inside of the bar, and she wasn't seen really by anybody, but she did flirt with him a little bit outside of the ball. So let's have a ball. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. The hosts are going to be the parents. And then the guests are going to be... Oh, no. There's only 15 people that can go to this one? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go back. Mm-mm-mm. Debbie Hunt Ball... Charity Gala. How many can we invite to this? Oh, no, 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 no. If you press the arrow in the corner, then copy link, it counts as a shared it. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I wonder what happens if we do the execution. Sentence to death? <gasps> oh my god, we should have an execution. Okay. The host is going to be the king, obviously. And then, oh my god, all of y'all clicking to share the live now? <laughs> the audience, we'll do all, we'll just do a fuckload of people. Oh my god. Fuck it, everybody. All the king's horse. Oh wait, we can only have 15 people? Never mind. I was about to say, the whole town. Fuck it, everybody come. No, we'll just have to invite our other rich people to come watch. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're gonna leave our mother out of this. Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> I want them to meet some of the other girls, so I'm gonna invite some of these other girls there, so hopefully they show up and we can become friends with them. Um, lord Dashian will be there. Um, our dad's gonna be there, and here's another- Okay, we can't invite that many people, we can only invite 15. Who are we senten sentencing to death? Um, someone who looks like they're not all- This, this thing. Or actually, let's do one- Let's make it accurate. He looks a little scary. We'll do him. Where are we doing it? Hopefully it lets us do it at that damn place that said that's where you do it. Willow Creek. Oh, well, never mind. It won't let us do it at the place. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Become friends at an execution, right? Well, damn, I don't know if we should just do another, like, saying that we're coming out party so we can invite whoever we want. Or, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter if we do that. Then we can make sure we add all those people as friends so we can invite them to a ball next time. Or we can just click ball. Oh, here we go. That's a 50-person maximum, but we still have to know all the people. Okay, we'll say that we're coming out again, but, I mean, people know that we're not. Um, we'll just put Blair as the person. The host will be her parents once again. The guests. I mean, I'm getting pretty damn good at this at this point. If I miss someone, I miss someone. Um, 
That lady. Let me make sure. I don't really care about the king going or anything like that. Her sisters are invited. Um, I want to make sure some of the other, like, young people are there. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not going to invite as many people this time, just some. Like, where were the princes at? That were down here. Peasant, peasant, peasant. Prince, prince, prince. And we'll invite the queen. Great. We'll do all of them. This. Oh, wait. I gotta invite that one guy that his house is technically the, um, thing. Thank you guys for sharing the live. Um, let's invite... What was that man's name? I think he was in the R's. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Oh, he's right here. Or he's one of these. Whatever. We hire someone for all of those. And then the ballroom. We'll do it for... We'll do this one for 2 p.m. Fuck it. Whatever. How do you get CC to work? I have a whole video on YouTube about how to download CC and get it to work. It's kind of like more than like a one sentence long answer. Otherwise, I'll just explain it now. Um... Lord Depp, bring the mega pint. <laughs> ah, lordy, lordy, lord. No, no, I meant the girls. What? Ooh, high tea ball, right? Also, I'm pretty sure we can be presented to the queen. Oh, my God. Blair, we got to present you to the queen, girl. We've got to present you to the queen. Maybe she'll be the diamond of the season. Maybe, um, the girl CC in the save file wasn't working yesterday. Oh, I didn't. Um, I had to go find a bunch of CC myself. <laughs> and, well, some of her CC, I did just, like, um, find the same CC, but, uh, I didn't exactly just, like, get it to work. See, that's where we're having our party at, right there. Does she ever meet Shrek while young? Um, I mean, while she's still youngish, yeah, the beginning of the shrek -averse, yeah, she does. But in this live, no, she doesn't meet Shrek yet. She knows Lord Farquaad and their friends, like, she writes letters to him sometimes, but she doesn't see him often. Bridgerton vibes. I know. I know. Aw, Blair's going to go play the harp whenever she wakes up in the morning. She's stressed about looking. Aw, look at her looking out the window and just breathing in the fresh air. Girl, we gotta go get you presented to the queen. So, first of all, let's change how you look right now. Let's put on something good. Um, let's see. What do we have? What are our options? Mm. Let's just put on your everyday outfit. I think that's cute. I think you look perfectly fine like that. Hey, I made it in. Hey, Peggy. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go. Our mailbox is over here. Let's go be presented to the queen. I'm excited. The only person from the Shrekiverse Doris knows of is Lord Farquaad. Right now. Um, we could hire a governess, but that would only be helpful if we had kids, I think, or teenagers, because I think the governess comes and, like, teaches them etiquette. Courtney, I'm nervous for you, girl. I hope it works out well, you being presented to the queen. I really hope so. I wish I could wake up and someone pick out my outfits, right? Right? Oh my god, I'm so nervous for Courtney right this second. I'm so nervous for Courtney. Doris is asleep in the bed. A child without a home. Lady Doris can't help but feel like the circumstances of her birth have left her with no real home. Oh my god, Doris! She just feels so illegitimate. Perspective. Lady Doris uh, need only look outside to see others who are suffering. A healthy dose of perspective and gratitude um, for one's good fortune can help keep a person in line with their values. 
Um, and then attractive memories. So she's having memories. Oh my god, she woke up with morning dew thinking about thinking about freaking Leyland. Oh my god. Oh my Lanta. Let's um send him a letter, aka send him a text. Um oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. now Doris. I mean it's still Doris, let's be real. I'm gonna send him a little letter. Maybe we'll be able to see him today. Blair is still being presented to the queen. It looks like are they having morning tea? Oh my god. Thank you, Daisy, for all the corgis. I've been saying Dazzy. No, I think it might be Daisy. Dazzy, Daisy. Thank you for all the corgis, though. Thank you so much. Um, if Doris goes to an execution, maybe that's where she sees um, Grim the first time and why. Yeah, I don't know if Grim would come to an execution. Thank you guys for all the shares. Um... Courtney's in here talking to her mom. She's feeling all flirty right now from her romantic trait and whatnot. Um, I'll cry if I want to. Oh my God, What was she complaining to her mom about something? It says, Lady Courtney is angry for dot, dot, dot. No good reason, really. Perhaps due to the fact that she can get away with a lot. No older family members are going to tell her not to be angry. Plus, authority is a shame. Okay, Courtney, you're kind of acting like a little hell right now not gonna lie to you like that's you sound a little spoiled which i mean she is spoiled they're all spoiled even doris is spoiled to be honest right now but doris doesn't find herself better than poor people because she's literally romantically interested in leyland um so hmm, hmm. interesting um Mark is a serving table. Oh, yeah, because then the servants will start serving food there. Uh, you need to ask. I wonder how she can ask to be uh, taken as legitimate. You know what I mean? I don't know how she can ask to be claimed. Affection, no. I don't know. I don't know. The chickens everywhere are actually kind of funny. That there's literally chickens everywhere. They all say they're starving because there's probably no chicken food anywhere. Also, the vibes of everything in here. So cute. So freaking cute. Courtney still... Uh, we need to send him a flirty text, aka a flirty letter. She's feeling real angry for no damn reason. Yeah, send him a flirty letter. Um, Can she ask for a paternity test? No, she can't. Shout forbidden words. Oh my god. He wants to hang out. We can't do that unless we go on a chaperone date. I wonder if she could go. Well, we're having that ball at 2 p.m. Could we do a chaperone date? With. Oh, wait. No, she has to plan it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can she do a chaperone date? Chaperone date. Her date would be, okay, herself, and then Lord Dashin, and then her chaperone would be, Doris, do you want to be our chaperone, girly? That's okay, right? Pretty sure it's fine as if her sister comes. I think. I think. Right? Or does it have to be, like, her mom or dad? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don said, yeah. Y'all said, I think so. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Doris, let's go. Oh, he has to come over here. Oh. Can we go to his house? Let's go to where he lives. Actually, no. Him come to us. Him come to us right now. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, you have a date, girl. Get dressed. Get dressed. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's Doris or not now because they're literally having it at the freaking house. So, everybody come downstairs. Come come sit together in here. Doris, get dressed. You're chaperoning. Ladies never go to the men. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. 
He's courting Courtney. I think she technically, we need to ask him to like technically court. I thought maybe he would ask her, but it seems like, um, maybe not. Why don't you do a ladylike introduction, Doris, so you know who the hell this man is. Go ahead, do your ladylike introduction. Courtney's coming in stomping mad. He's on his notebook. LOL. Okay, Courtney, we gotta, we gotta calm down, girl. Don't throw your drink at him or chew him out. Ask to court. Yeah, let's see if we can possibly... Okay, it's going away. Good. The way they're both sitting in here... I, honest to God, this is the cutest thing. This is so cute. Oh my God, not her parents going to go woohoo right now. I'm um, glad you feel that way, but maybe later. Jesus. Why is there a stinky plate right here? Go on somewhere. What did he say? A life of leisure. Lady Cordy wonders what she'll do today. A stroll in the gardens? High tea at a friend's? How could Lady Cordy ever decide? Wow. Must be nice. Um, I'm a royal and it's really a fitting my culture. <laughs> Thank you, pretty little cycle, for the confetti. Thank you, Illy. Thank you, Court, for the lover's glasses. Um, uh, you're supposed to be chaperoning, girl. Doris. Doris, you're gonna get your sister in trouble and Lady Whisperdown is gonna talk about her. Lady Blair Navington's interest. Okay, everybody, everybody shut up. She's back. It is unseemly to expect praise from anyone, much less from Her Majesty. Yet to reject such compliments would be unthinkable. When Miss Navington made her entrance to society, Her Majesty took but one look and declared her flawless. As the season's incomparable, Miss Navington must take special care as the ton's eyes rest on her alone. <gasps> oh, my lanta, she's the season's incomparable. Amazing. Amazing. Um, hell yeah, Doris. Well, it's not Doris that's the season's incomparable. It's her sister, Blair. But... Um, I'm happy for her. Look at how happy Blair is right now. Not the Daphne. She is the Daphne sister. But Blair was like all worried. And now she's the season's incomparable. Queen's diamond. It's like a dream. Lady Blair simply can't believe her majesty would afford her such a compliment. Oh my lord. Well, that upped the pressure. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. You're right. Thank you, Amanda. You're right. As if there wasn't already enough pressure on Courtney, now she's the season's diamond. Oh my god. Oh my god. So now, here's where Doris is at. Doris is low-key falling for... The only person Doris is romantically interested in is Leyland's. Um, her one sister is now courting a lord, um, a very rich one, BTW, Landerson, that basically means land grab, okay? Um, and then her sister is the diamond of the season, and then Doris is still being called illegitimate, and she's feeling sad over it, um, because people think that her mother woohooed a troll, and that's what made Doris. Because they think her sisters are so much prettier than her and look so much different than her. Rude. Um, she's about to have a Queen Elsa level breakdown. <laughs> I am worried about Blair's mental health. Courtney seems like she's doing just fine. I mean, she seems like really, um, like... Everything's just going the way it's supposed to go for her. Like, she did her etiquette training with her mom. Um, now, you know, she's on her first chaperone date and whatever with a lord. Like, this is just what's supposed to happen for her. Um, swoon. Yeah, sure, swoon. Do some society gossip. He feels embarrassed. Awkward encounter. What's awkward? Oh, no, this is going terribly. 
Um, why is our gardener walking around with his notebook in his panties? Please change your outfit. Dora's getting the whole Khloe Kardashian treatment. Oh my god, no, not the Khloe Kardashian treatment. Uh, don't touch our girl like that. <gasps> oh no, they're having negative romance. Okay, this is not going- Okay, now he's flirty. Thank you, pretty little psycho. He is flirty. There goes her daddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, her dad obviously needs to meet this dude. He should have already meet, met her, met him. Um, <gasps> Lord Dashin Landerson has declined Miss Lady Courtney Navington's offer of courtship. Perhaps it was from lack of affection or perhaps Miss Lady Courtney Navington's prospects to be lacking. <gasps> oh, that's embarrassing. I just said everything was going perfect for her. <gasps> oh my god, leave at once. Leave at once, uh, Lord Dashin. Please, just leave at once. Just leave at once. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. She said goodbye. Um, Doris is over here, looks like she wants to cry over feeling illegitimate. Oh my god, write your dude. Send him a sad letter because we're feeling sad. Go ahead and send him a little sad letter to Leyland. I mean, he's the only one who actually like wants to spend time with her, so he probably wants a diamond. <gasps> I said good day. <gasps> Speaking of the execution, um, yeah, is she still feeling confident though? She says she has a life of leisure and whatever. So apparently, he didn't make her feel any type of way. Her dad's like, don't worry, there will be another one. Meanwhile. Blair's over here about to start reading books. Nobody's even congratulating her. I think they just kind of like expected it from her to be the incomparable. Who's calling Doris? Hey, Lady Doris, you sound really down. Come over and I'll cheer you up. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. How did he know? Okay. We're gonna go on a little stroll to make sure we don't we don't start gaining weight during the season. <laughs> We're just gonna go on a little stroll. Oh, he's flirting with us. They definitely like each other a lot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. At least at his house, nobody's gonna like see her. Um, he said, and I can fix that. Oh my god, Doris, don't be too scandalous now, girl. Um, who's this lady with no hair? It's an NPC. Okay, well, you look like you need a bath. Anyways. Um, uh, just a little stroll. Doris, it's okay. Show appreciation to him. Um, have a deep conversation. Uh, ask him about his day. Um... Mention your honorable life goals. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Regency, we can't ask to court him, unfortunately. And then maybe just a little bit of, well, she can't even, we could swim. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope she feels better. Can this lady go away? Thank you. She's talking about death. Listen, her sister just got named the incomparable of the season. Um, that's where we're at right now. He looks like he's really listening too. Ask him for some advice. You know that he's probably like, listen, don't let anybody try and make you feel ugly because you're not ugly. First kiss. Do not. Literally do not. Like, you can like flirt with him a little bit, but... You cannot let him, like, touch you in some type of way. Um, propose scandalous question. No, 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 no. Him on his little notebook. I cannot. Um, do a little society gossip. Look at her flirting with her fan! That was so cute! She was whispering to him about stuff. Oh, the gossip. She's telling him about the gossip. Um, compliment his appearance. 
I'm gonna get her to drop the handkerchief again just because I thought that was so freaking cute before. That guy probably wants a better sister. Yeah, the other guy dashing. Yeah, I think he does. I just have to get a picture of this. This is too freaking cute! That's like the cutest animation I think I've ever seen. Um, 12.38 p.m. You know what I think he would try to do to cheer up Doris? You know what I think he would try to do? I think he would try to... Let's go to that, like, bathhouse or whatever. He could take her swimming. She could just experience doing something fun that poor people do instead of having to do all her uppity shit. This is probably about to be where she gets her love for the swamp and the fart pond is where they're about to go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the public bath. Let's go swimming, shall we? Uh, Lord Dashin, you're really hot, but I don't like you right now because you didn't want to court Courtney, and now you're about to give her her, like, villain era or something. Take him swimming so she can see him cleaned up, right? Also, thank you guys so much for over, almost 250,000 likes. That is a lot of tapping the screen, and I appreciate you guys. And we're halfway to the goal for the night, so I appreciate the shit out of y'all. Um, I told you Lord Dashian was shady. I didn't believe you, girl, but now I do. Um, They're here now. It's probably going to say something about Thanksgiving. I knew it was. So I know she's probably a little nervous right now to be here. Okay, where the hell is the pool? Okay, I gotta create a pool, because ain't no way they're gonna call it a bathhouse and there's no pool. So, let's make a pool real quick. And before you judge my building, I'm not here for perfection. I am here for it to just be something that they can swim in. Um, I need a fucking... Okay, this is definitely not medievally. Thank you, Jai, for the galaxy. So nice. They need a freaking ladder or some shit. Hold on, I need the pool ladder. Pool ladder. Girly, we don't judge. I know y'all don't judge, but I get insecure about my building, okay? When other when other people are watching me, because every time I try to like build or decorate Sims on live. People try start telling me, they're like, no, 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 do this. And I'm like, <gasps> I'm about to have a panic attack. Okay, let's come swim together. Here for a good time, not a long time. What is under his peasant attire? Um, I guess we're about to find out. Thank you, Jai, for the heart puffs. And Corey for the hanging lights. Y'all are too sweet to me. Too nice to me. Okay, Doris went right for it. Okay, Doris. She wasn't even scared. She didn't even use the ladder. <gasps> Hold on. Hold a minute. <laughs> Is that pool historically accurate? Oh, my God. Thank you, Court, for the your sweet. Um. Oh, wait. I forgot about the coming out ball, and so did Doris. So did Doris! It's in an hour! Okay, she doesn't even care. She does not even care. Um, Splash him. Splash Leyland. Splash him. <laughs> the way he's laughing, too. Um, we'll compliment his appearance. We'll, uh... Aw, oh, he did make her happy, though. She's having pleasant conversation. You know that if her family saw her right now, they would shit a brick. If they saw what she was doing right now, they would lose their mind. That's that farm body. If you don't get your notebook out of the pool, <laughs> discuss playing on your harp. And she promised him she would um, write him a song. Thank you, Mirda, for all the lovers' classes. Thank you so much. Um... Uh, he's getting out of the pool. Should we, should we kiss him? I feel like I kind of want her to, but is that going to get her in trouble if she does it? The way she's looking at him, that'd be me. That'd be me. The, ah! 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 That'd be 
we are yet. I feel like she should. She's about to go to this ball where she might end up getting like betrothed or something. So I feel like she needs to do it while she can. She needs to. Who's gonna? She's already in her fucking bloomers out in the pool with him right now. Like she might as well. She might as well. Nobody else is here. He took her somewhere where he knew nobody else was gonna be, except there's like a lady in there. But I don't think that lady cares. Um. Oh, Doris, don't piss yourself, girly. <gasps> Hold on, I gotta put the walls up for a second. And she's kissing him, because you know that he would not take away her, um... Oh my god, Doris! Y'all, we just saw Doris's first kiss ever. Oh my, her dad. First of all, her dad already doesn't like this dude to begin with. Who is that? That's a lady. But she's like one of the fish people, so we don't know them, and they don't go to the same like places as us so i think it should be okay um oh wait the event let's um propose a scandalous question to him he is enamored with her right and then i think that they should talk about marriage she is feeling him for sure He's got a body on him. Oh, you better not tell nobody about this girl. Yeah, you didn't see nothing. He's like, no, you can't marry me. You can't marry me. He knows that she's like, you know, rich and whatever. And he's not about to do that to her. But he is like totally into her for sure. She's changing into her clothes now. Should they? No, she's not going to woohoo with him. She would not go that far. But I do think she should dance with him at least one time, even though- <gasps> Oh no! Now that is a problem. Lady Visalea, that is a problem. Because that's one of the ladies that is also trying to be courted right now. That's competition. That is competition. That is a problem. Okay, Doris, we need to leave immediately. Don't dance with him. Don't even tell him goodbye. He can look for us later. He can look for us later. He knows that we're... Oh, she's gonna tell him bye. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know if she said bye or not. But we gotta get the fuck out of here. We gotta get the hell out of here. Thank you, Court, for the lover's glasses. Thank you, Mirna. She's definitely snitching. Um, Doris, we might need to cut her, to be honest. Oh, God. Cinderella him. Go to the event ASAP. That's what I'm saying. Can we go to the event from here? Oh no, the event went away. Oh my god, now we're gonna have to plan it again. Jesus Christ. We need to go back home. We need to go back home. Yeah, but why was she there too? Well, it was technically kind of like a spa, so she might have been getting a spa treatment. Oh god, Doris. So she just had. So he is. She's definitely like in love with Leyland. Which, I mean, she's been friends with him for years. He worked in her house as a young teenager and whatever. Um, so she kind of, like, didn't, like, grow up around him, but grew up, like, seeing him around the household before her father fired him. And she goes out of her way. Not her showing up in her robe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Put your clothes on, Doris. Um, let's go talk to her father. I think she should go cl complain to him about being illegitimate. And I think she also needs to have a deep conversation about how maybe she doesn't need to be courted at all by somebody because maybe she just wants to marry the peasant. Damn. Maybe she just wants to marry Leyland. Thank you, Kelmro, for the flower bouquet. Um, like, would that be, um... Of course, that lady was also there unaccompanied. Mutual agreement to stay silent. True. True. I've been tapping more than ever. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Thank you, Alex. Um, but yeah, maybe she is going to, you know, it's Doris. She's confident. She's happy. I think she would be bold enough to tell her father that she would rather just marry Leyland. And maybe her father could help him out and get him, like, bring him up so that maybe he won't be a peasant. And she has two other sisters who are probably going to marry Rich. Her sister is the diamond of the freaking season and definitely going to marry Rich, probably, if she can get out of her head. And her other sister is a little, she's a little dumb, I think, but 
maybe a little moody, but it's fine. Um, I think she will probably marry well as, you know, so maybe Doris will be fine to marry poor. So let's just go talk to her dad and see what happens. Um, I doubt daddy will want to take on a charity case. Um, oh Lord, he's waiting for it too. So she's giving him a hug. He says, oh my God, she's complaining about being illegitimate. He's like, oh my God, I hate that you feel that way. Um, he's like, but I have great news for you. Okay, don't even be worried about that. Her father has received a letter today. I'm gonna show you what it says. I'd like to arrange business with you in exchange for my betrothal to your daughter, Doris. Let's discuss the details in person, Lord Farquaad. So Lord Farquaad has sent Doris's father, because remember, Doris has met Lord Farquaad in the past. She's exchanged letters um, with him over the years, but they've always been friends. Um, it's never been like romantic for her in any type of way. Now, obviously, Doris is going to be fucking distraught over this, okay? Um, so that being said, the next thing in the story that happens is Doris goes to a witch for some advice, okay? Because obviously Doris is in love with Leyland. Um, she knows that she's not like her sisters. Like, they're just on a different level. Like, Blair was raised to marry rich. And they all were, but, like, obviously, Doris just isn't vibing with the rich people and everything. And she doesn't mind um, the poor people and whatever. So, Doris is going to go to the witch. I'm about to play a video for y'all. I'm going to let it play twice um, because there is some reading in it. So, I'll let it play twice and then we'll be back, okay? All right. people saying asking if her whole life is a dream no it's not a dream all of it's real and all of the people in the other dimension in the other realm are real um 
and everything she's lived that we've seen of her in the future is real. And it took her a long time in the Shrekiverse to want to date. Um, and at first on the Swamp, and this is more detailed in the book version of the Shrekiverse, but on the Swamp, at first it's only her and Lord Farquaad and Shrek and Fiona for a while. And eventually she, you know, does have a baby with Lord Farquaad. But even after that, she wasn't ever romantically interested in him and it took her a long time to fall in love with somebody and when she settled down for somebody it was with someone that she's hoping she'll be able to see again um whenever she knows she's gonna have to return to um her old life as well as like her daughter going to the underworld she wasn't as worried about Reapa as a lot of people were because she's hoping that she'll be able to see her daughter again um so anyways obviously the witch predicted that all of her children will become nobility um and she predicted that she'll have at least one child be a king one child be a queen um and that she'll have more grandchildren than she can even count which we know that's true um so she remembers all of this in the shrek verse yes right now doris remembers everything now, will she remember the Shrekiverse when she dies one day in the Shrekiverse and comes back to her old life? That we don't know. Um, and obviously, Doris has still got a lot of life to live in her. So, who knows how long and if we'll be back here ever. But, that being said, if she comes back here one day, she'll be back to 18 years old. And it'll only be a few hours after what just happened with Leyland um and no she's never told anybody she's never told anybody um the only person who knows that this place existed is lord farquaad and he thinks his whole kingdom was destroyed and that they just fell through a portal because the the kingdom exploded and somehow they were the chosen ones who survived and went to a new land so lord farquaad doesn't realize that this is all doris's fault um so yeah um what happens if she dies before the age of 99? She won't. That's why I always tell y'all, Doris isn't going to die. <laughs> I have confidently said a bunch of times, Doris isn't going to die. Um, so yeah, that's her That's her fate. That's her destiny right now. She's paying a debt to destiny. But she does love her life in the Shrekiverse. And she is living a super happy life. But she is going to live two lifetimes. Um, anyways, I have one more video uh i have one more video um to show you which isn't like a scene one it's more so like pictures of doris and whatnot um so yeah one more video and then I, i'll tell y'all good night and whatever so enjoy um this uh video you guys enjoyed the Doris um special thank you Forest Fairy for that it's so sweet um I'm tearing up a little bit right now too to be honest even though I've already seen that um thank you Lisa thank you Jess Ann thank you Pretty Little Psycho um this whole live will be on YouTube right yeah as long as it's saves hopefully um I hope you guys enjoyed this live I know some of you have questions I'll be in the just discord after this in the after the Shrekiverse um live chat um, so we'll definitely be discussing this and everything. Um, thank you guys for all of the gifts tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow night for another live. I'll see y'all in the Discord. I love you. Good night.